Hi, I'm Patrick Donahoe, founder and CEO of Paradigm Life, and it is my uh, privilege to introduce you to the hierarchy of wealth. Now, the hierarchy of wealth is a tool to classify uh, the risk and control of your investments. Now, when you input your assets and your investments into this tool, it's going to identify the degree of risk you are taking with those individual assets, but also assets as a whole or in the aggregate. Now, in the marketplace, you know, most risk assessment tools measure that risk based on circumstances that are outside of your control. Now, that is part of the hierarchy of wealth, but also the hierarchy of wealth considers the amount of control and influence you personally have over the underlying investment based on your education and based on your experience. So ultimately, the hierarchy of wealth is going to help you ensure that you get the highest rate of return with the least amount of risk, not just on individual investments, but as uh, your investments as a whole. So we found that you know most people are afraid to take risks because of what's at stake if they lose, I get it, uh, especially when it comes to money. But fear can negatively influence your decisions and it also can lead to indecision. So poor judgment and missed opportunities are usually the reasons uh, that prevent people from reaching their financial goals. So the last 15 years in business, you know, we've found that clients are simply not making decisions or they're taking too much risk for the returns that they're getting. And that's the primary reason we created the hierarchy of wealth. So as you educate yourself and you use this tool to assess your individual investments and your wealth as a whole, uh, you're going to become aware of that risk, but you're also going to start to discover opportunities to increase your wealth, increase your returns, but not having to take as much risk. And ultimately this will chart uh, an even more secure and certain way to your financial independence. So let's, uh, let's get to how it works. So similar to other hierarchies, we visualize it with a pyramid. Now this hierarchy has four tiers. Tier one is at the bottom, it's the foundational tier. Tier two, tier three, and tier four. Now, these tiers are based on a function of risk and control. So the higher you go on the pyramid or in the hierarchy, the more risk you are taking. The lower you go, the more control you have. Okay, control and influence. Control and influence is typically the result of education and experience. So the idea is that when you classify your investments, all of your investments, because you can do it individually, then you can do it as an aggregate, okay? You can look at areas where you can get the same returns or better returns for, the, for lower risk. And that risk can come about, the lower risk, uh, based on improving education, improving experience, or it can come about by switching investment ve uh, vehicles or assets. So looking at how we typically uh, recommend as far as percentages are concerned, of overall wealth, we usually like to see between 30 and 50% of overall wealth in this foundational tier. And I'll give you some criteria in a second as far as each of these tiers. Uh, so that's 30 to 50%. Tier two, usually like to see 30 to 40% of overall wealth. And in tier three, this is a little bit less, which is 10 to 20% uh, of wealth. And then here in tier four, zero to five percent of overall wealth. Now we look at this being able to produce really good returns and over overall achieve 
a lot of wealth over the long term without taking a lot of risk. So as I said, let's talk about some criteria. So usually in this foundational tier, here's some of the criteria uh, we like. Uh, it's guaranteed. Okay, it's uh, liquid, meaning you have really easy and quick access to it. Uh, we like to see a prudent uh, return. Okay, sometimes uh, tier one is just simply cash. Cash doesn't earn a return, uh, but there are vehicles, uh, assets out there where you can earn uh, a decent return, but have just as much liquidity and safety as cash. So prudent, uh, prudent return, and obviously high control. Okay, this next tier, which is uh, tier two, in this tier two, we like assets that produce uh, cash flow. We like assets that has uh, that have collateral, okay, associated with that. Uh, I would say that there's some historical consistency with uh, with this type of tier, meaning it's an asset class that's produced for a pretty long period of time, okay, and likely to continue to produce. Uh, and then, in addition, obviously, uh, more more control. When you start getting beyond tier two. Uh, this is where there's uh, a lot more risk, okay? So here, I'll use uh, this space here, there's no guarantees. So no guarantees, okay? Which means you could lose, you know, lose all of your money. There's limited collateral, limited collateral, okay? Uh, and little control, so little control. Okay, and then tier four, as you can imagine, this is just, you know, speculation, right? There's obviously uh, speculation. There's obviously no guarantees. You could lose everything. There's typically no uh, collateral either. Okay, you can lose everything. Sometimes you can lose more than what you've invested, right? So this is, you know, there's different assets that fall into this, which you will see inside of uh, the tool. But this is a general uh, idea of the criteria that determines each tier, uh, as well as typically the uh, percentage of overall wealth you, uh, we have typically found is appropriate for those building wealth over the long term. So uh, now get into the toolkit, now get into the actual calculator and app itself so that you can start to uh, see how your assets fall into these different tiers and how they fall into the hierarchy as a whole.